Hello students. Uh, in the previous video, we discussed about the growth independent movement that is in sensitive plants. We discussed the movements uh, that occurred in the uh, sensitive plants. That uh, movement was growth independent movement, means there was no involvement of any growth. So, today, here in this video, I'm going to talk about growth dependent movement. So, movement of plant or plant parts by growth of the plant is involved. Means in the growth independent movement there was no growth of the plant and here in this growth dependent the growth will be involved there will be some type of growth and due to that growth some movement will occur and that movement we will be discussing here so in this one we will learn four key concept that is phototropism geotropism hydrotropism and chemotropism so these are the four uh, very important concept that we will learn in this uh, topic so starting with this tropism so to understand this uh, four concept we have to know what is tropism so if we understand that uh, meaning of tropism then it will be very easy to understand this four concept it will be like water for us so tropism or tropic movement so tropism is also known as tropic movement is a biological phenomenon and it's a biological phenomenon where what happens? Where the whole plant or a part of the plant moves towards any external source or stimulus. Means, trophic moment or tropism is a biological phenomenon. First thing is this, and in this um, phenomenon, what happens? The whole plant or a part of the plant moves towards any external source or any stimulus. Means, a uh, whole plant or the any part of the plant may move towards any external source. Uh, it may be water, it may be soil, it may be uh, sunlight, it may be any chemicals, it may be anything. So, if any part of the plant or the whole plant whole plant moves towards any external source of stimulus, the type of movement will be called as tropic movement or tropism. So, to uh, understand this phototropism, we will be using this definition. So, phototropism, we know that photo means light, photo, the uh, word has come from photon. So, photon is a particle of light. So, photo means light, photo is light. And tropism means this movement of plant or plant parts towards any source. So here the source will be light. So from this definition we can modify it. So phototropism is the type of movement in, uh, in which what happens? The plant or plant parts moves towards sunlight or any light. So if any plant or plant part moves towards light, that type of movement will be called as phototropism. So if you see this picture, so this picture is clicked by me, it is in my room. So I kept uh, this plant in the corners near the window. After a few days, I observed that the plant is uh, kind of uh, moving towards the window, means it's bending towards the window where the sunlight is coming. So if you see this picture also, it, uh, this one I have uh, downloaded from internet. So it is also kept uh, near the window and all these growing uh, shorts and this grass type uh, plants are bending towards the window means the sunlight is coming from this window that's why this light and these small plants are moving towards the sunlight so this type of movement of plants uh, are called as phototropism means this uh, here the plant or plant parts are moving towards sunlight so this is known as phototropism so it's very simple if we move we will find geotropism so what is geotropism so geo means earth we know that geology geography and all so geo means earth so in geology is a study of earth and all we know that the meaning of geo is earth so geotropism will be very easy for us uh, again so geo means earth and tropism so movement of plant or plant parts towards the earth or soil that one we will be uh, saying as geotropism so this is an example of geotropism if a pot we keep it upside upside down on the side we will see that the roots are uh, going towards the soil means it would be going downward if we uh, put it like this after a few days we will observe that the roots are going downward because they are they uh, always tend to move towards the soil as we know that roots grow under the soil so if we put uh, keep the plant uh, on side we will see the roots are going downside to uh, find the soil so this type of movement of this plant part that is root is called as geotrophism so this stem is moving towards the sunlight and this root is going downside that's why this um, root is 
this is known as positively geotrophic means roots are known as positively geotrophic these roots are showing positive geotrophism and this stem is showing negative geotrophism it is means it is going against the uh, soil that's why it is known as negatively geotrophic means this stem is negatively geotrophic and the stem is showing negative geotrophism and this root is showing positive geotrophism so next one is hydrotrophism hydro means water we know that so hydrotrophism that movement of plant or plant parts towards water so as a source of water is known as hydrotrophism so this is an example and it's a very nice picture here so one uh, plant is grown in the soil moist soil and roots are there roots grow straight if there was no nothing this on the soil is there the roots will grow straight if the root finds any water source nearby the uh, soil it will tend to move towards the water source here we can see the roots are moving towards the water source because of this uh, because the roots are moving towards the water source to find water that's why this type of movement shown by the plant parts are known as hydrotrophism means <coughs> plant part is moving uh, showing some movement towards the towards the water source that's why this type of known as uh, movement are known as hydrotrophism and one more is left this is a very simple concept one more is left that is chemotrophism so chemo means any chemical substance so movement of plant or plant parts towards any chemical substance will be called as chemotrophism if you see this here the root is here and roots have different branches here so all these branches will be moving in different directions why these roots are moving in different directions to obtain nutrition so we know that nutrients different nutrients are present in the soil in previous classes in class 8 9 we have started that different nutrients are there in the soil to obtain the nutrients from the soil the different parts of the root are moving towards these uh, nutrients 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 are nothing but chemical substances phosphorus nitrogen and all so all these are present in the soil so plant parts are moving towards the different chemical uh, substances to obtain nutrition so this type of movement shown by this uh, the part of the plant is called as chemotrophism so these are the very simple concept four concept and uh, I hope uh, this much up to this much is clear. If you have any confusion, any doubt, you can uh, co comment in the comment section or you can simply ask me in my WhatsApp number also. And thank you for watching the video. So much of patience.